Hello guys! Today we are going to show you foam rolling of your legs. We are going to start with uh, from the bottom. Uh, we are going to start with our calves. So we are going to roll from our heel up to halfway of your calf. Nice and gentle we are exploring, we are going more to the inside of the calf, more to the outside, maybe in the middle. Check your Achilles, how it all feels, roll around up to 20 times and you can move on slightly higher to the second part of your half, uh, of your calf. As you see Alicia has her boom lifted up, so she has more pressure when she's rolling. Optionally, if you want to make it easier, you can sit down with your boom on the floor. It's slightly harder to move, but you can still explore and press. Or if you want to really take it hard, you take one leg on top of the other and you keep your uh, hips up lifted. But this is a really, really hard version, so don't jump straight away into that one. This is your calves. Yeah. If Alicia finds any tender spots, any tight spots, she's going to stay there, dig in a little bit more, press slightly more, stay in that one spot and she's going to give herself a few deep breaths so the body releases the tension and then she moves on again. So guys, that was your calf. Make sure you do both of them. Show you how to roll your hamstrings. Now with a foam roller it's slightly hard to get deep into your hamstrings so you can use the uh, ball for for the hamstrings. Small ball or bigger ball. Optionally you can um, take a ball and do it on the chair. Again she's doing halfway first so from behind the knee up to halfway and then she's moving to second half around 20 times on one area and then moving on she's exploring more inner part outer part middle part and if anything feels super tight she stays there she presses she can again pull one leg on the other to press more and give herself deep breaths quadriceps so the front of the upper leg. For that one, she's kind of having a plank position, but I will show you from the other side, her leg is like a frog to the side. So hips are facing down, she's strong on her arms, and that leg that is bent on the side, she's using that leg to move herself up and down on the other leg on the roller. She's going from the kneecap up to halfway, exploring again, moving slightly outwards, inwards, and to the middle. And then she goes from halfway all the way up to the hip bone. She's not pressing on the hip bone, obviously, she's staying on the muscle. If there is any spots that are extra tight, she stays there. Deep breaths are very important. And that's one quadriceps. Then she does the second one. Now maybe Alicia showed the glutes. So our boom. We are going to start with easier option. So first to get on it, she has the roller between her legs and her arm and she pops up on the roller. She's slightly sideways and she's doing one glute here. In that case, it's your right glute. She's moving up and down or to the side and back. Mm -hmm. She's exploring, checking, is there any tight spots? And if she feels confident, to make it a little bit harder she takes just make sure you see which leg she's taking on so now when she's on the right side and rolling her right glute her right leg is going up on the left 
so she's adding a little bit more tension but again don't jump into that one straight away if you don't feel it's okay and it feels good deep breaths and then just show how to change for the second side a little yeah so again she pops up on the roller she's slightly sideways and in that case her left leg is on the right leg okay hello guys it's us again now we're gonna show you how to massage your foot and so Marta starting from the <coughs> toes towards her heel okay she, she's trying to find tight spots uh, in her heel now so the key point here is not to press too hard okay and find the tight pet spots change foot and uh, five to ten seconds you can hold on the really tight spot and to release the tension make sure you breathe and you're not holding the breath okay and a few times forward and back you can do circles um, and that's your foot okay. now we're gonna dig in to your inner thighs okay so uh, Marta is uh, in a plank position and the roller is under her thigh the side of the thigh so inner thigh inner thigh and she's rolling out and in okay she's using her second leg also for the support and strong core okay and again tight spots five to ten seconds really breathe and so she's rolling from halfway from the knee towards halfway of the inner thigh and when she's ready um, 20 times not more and she's coming to the second half so from the half of the way towards her hip okay key points here core tight strong shoulders and you're moving forward and back and releasing the tension from the inner thighs it can be quite painful but it's do doing an amazing job okay and again change the sides change the leg and uh, after after um, a few ropes okay just changing the side and again rolling that's it and make sure you breathe and again halfway and then the second half from the uh, center of your middle half and to your hip okay that was your inner thighs now we're gonna go for side of your hip so the, could we call it um, IT bias you want to say something more Marta uh, we said it before the leg can be in the front the leg can be in the back whatever is more comfortable I prefer this way find a way that is comfortable for you and okay make sure you're really really gentle this uh, fascia is really 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 sensitive so if you're a runner that can be really painful so take it easy and again you're rolling from the kneecap towards halfway and then after a few loops you're moving towards your hip okay you can always stay on the tight spots and uh, go side to side um, don't hold your breath make sure you breathe five to ten seconds and then go. okay and make sure you change your legs okay one is quite painful if you're running but it's doing amazing amazing job so Marta is running from the ankles towards the knees and she's keeping her core strong uh, shoulder strong okay you can do it one at a time if it's too painful okay or you can press it a little bit more if you're less sensitive And now we're going for the hip. So a uh, hip flexor, usually very, very tight when we're sitting a lot and also for the runners. So just have a look quick when we are putting the oil roller, okay? It's just uh, below the hip 
boom okay so we're not directly on the hip and now Mar look what Marta is doing she's moving rocking forward and back okay the front our upper leg is on the front so for support okay and again you can stay and go a little bit deeper in the tissue uh, have a deep breathing and rock forward and back or press for five to ten seconds and again don't stay too long um, and do not do any, any damage for the tissue and again swap over see you bye <laughs>